Hello and Happy New Year! This is the first video on the channel in 2022. When you want to do test automation or when you want to learn test automation, one of the difficult challenges is finding a web page where you can practice what you're reading, what you're learning. And in this video, I'm going to show you four web pages which you can use when learning about the different ways to automate um, different elements on a page. What do I mean by that? Well, uh, for example, if you want to automate um, an input field, a checkbox, um, an alert, an iframe, if you want to learn how to upload files, you can do all that and more in these pages, which I'm going to show you. We're going to start off with, I think, one of the most well-known pages at the moment, which is the internet. And this page has everything which you might need. So, for example, if you want to have inputs, you go to the inputs. And we have a number input here. Let's go back. We don't have shadow dome which we can then try and, and find and then automate. We have um, drag and drop. That's also one really nice one, which you want to test. And so forth. Another one is let code testing hub. So this is similar into the direction of what it offers to the internet but it's in a different form. So you can try and play around with this one. Um, I mean, it looks a little bit more modern and you can try and play around with both actually. So I was mentioning alerts before. So if you go to alert, click on dialog, and here you have different kind of alerts, confirmation alerts, prompts, Whoa, full page, nice. And to help you, yeah, you even have on this page a couple of information on how you might handle the different kinds of alerts. Uh, another one is the test pages for automation, testpages.herokuapp.com. And this one is actually used in the Selenium Simplified book from Alan Richardson. If you don't know the book, I recommend that you buy it and read it. It's a really good book. And this page, together with the book, is pure gold in what uh, test automation is concerned. So you have a similar structure to what you had before. Um, let's do something different here. HTML5. Yeah, HTML5 is new and it definitely will provide you with some challenges. We have here a nice form, which you can use to practice your automation of the uh, elements. The last one, which I want to show you is this UI test automation playground. Don't worry about the URLs. I will post them all um, in the description of the video. And in this one, you have again, similar Um, items, similar web uh, items, one which we didn't see in the previous ones were dynamic tables. So this one would allow you to do some automation and, and in this case, check the values in this table. And there you have it. This was a list of four websites which you can use to practice your um, UI automation or to practice automating different UI elements. I'm going to post similar videos for APIs, for security and so forth. If you have any other URLs which you find interesting in regards to test automation, write them in the comments. As always, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.